Chloe's birthday party. She turned seven yesterday and we are having her official party today. And this is like her first big official party. Like when she turned five, we did. she wanted to do a chalk party. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was her idea. We just got a, we just bought a bunch of chalk and we went to the park and they graffitied up the park. It was actually kind of fun. And so in our family, we do birthday parties every other year. So we do a family party with a gift one year. And then the next year we don't give a gift, but we invite all their friends and we do a more expensive party. So this is Chloe's big expensive party. We're going to get air, we're gonna jump, and it should be really fun. Are you excited? Yeah. She was a little nervous because he's afraid that adults get hurt when they jump. Well, adults get hurt pretty easily on trampolines. I hurt my back one time on a trampoline. We're not that old. <laughs> so we're going to pick up the ice cream cake and then we're heading over there. Look at your cake! Oh, out. We should have got a discount for the misspelt. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. today and I wanted to show you the new laundry stuff I got. Normally I get healthier natural options but I just really love good smelling laundry. Like that is a joy to my soul. Okay that might be taking it a little far but I do really like <laughs> good smelling laundry. So these smell so good and they had them at Costco in the giant lifetime size. So I got those. And then we got this Tide April Fresh. This is a good scent. I also like the fresh scent. I think they have a fresh one. But um, this was the only good smelling one they had at Costco. And then we just got some dryer sheets. And these are outdoor fresh. So when we do laundry, it's going to make our neighborhood smell really good. You know how like sometimes you walk outside people's houses and you can smell how yeah, good. I know what you mean. Like yeah. our neighbors, Marianne. You can smell when they're like doing dry, dryer exhaust is blowing out yeah. the side of the house. Yep. Our house will smell like that pretty soon. All right, cool. It's probably full of toxins and poisons, but it's going to smell so good. It's not. <laughs> Every night, Jimmy giggles when he feeds the guinea pigs. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> You missed. Did you see? Did you see it? They mm -hmm. were coming out on the door. I'll we'll do it again. Oh man! Oh know, man! We're have to torture just, the poor little piggies. Them. Okay, ready? Okay, crinkle the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Target, and I thought I would show you what I picked up. I got this hat. I actually looked and tried this on a few weeks ago and then put it back and I kept thinking about it. So when I was back at Target, I decided I would treat myself to this purchase. It was $20. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I'm going to try. So I got that and then I wanted to try these um, Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I wasn't sure my color, so I got 120 and 125 I've heard mixed reviews, so most people really, really like it. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see what I think. I actually went to get the L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation, the one that I love so much, but they didn't have my shades, so I picked up these. Maybe I'll like it more. I will let you guys know. So I got those. Then I got this Yes to Coconut Oil Body Wash. And my sister said that she was in love with this e.l.f. blush palette, so I picked that up. I also heard good things about this e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder, so I'm going to try that because I have fine lines, dark circles, and imperfections. 
And then lastly, this was in the dollar section. I just thought these would look cute in my purse or in the office. I don't know. I'm a sucker for cute office stuff. And that's everything I got from Target. And then also my good friends Karen Amon and Ruth Schwenk wrote this book, Hoodwinked, and it's just about to come out. And so they sent me this goodie box with so many goodies. So there's the book, there's the DVD with six different sessions, and then there's also the Bible study or study guide that you can do with your friends and other moms. It is 10 Myths Mom Believe and Why We Need to Knock It Off. So there's that. Then there's this super cute apron by, let's see, what does that say? There you go. If you guys want to check it out on Etsy, that is the name right there. So super cute. It's all kind of this old fashioned theme. So it's like an old fashioned apron. Um, our friend Darlene was joking that this is a cool spanking spoon but I think it's supposed to be actually like a kitchen spoon. And then a bunch of this old fashioned candy. So some chiclets and this sugar daddies and Astro Pops. And remember these, these wax, like I remember these. So pixie sticks, and mm, I think they're gonna be so happy. So you guys, I will leave a link to their book and everything in the description box down below. But these are my friends. Aren't they so pretty? They're amazing. You guys will fall in love with them if you don't know who they are yet. So I've been Snapchatting this um, every day that I do my Bible reading, showing what I'm reading. But I wanted to show you guys here on the vlog too because I'm doing this plan um, through She Reads Truth. And so every day I signed up for the email. You can also do um, the app as well. And they send you an email with all the scripture to read. So it's your main reading and some supportive scripture that kind of backs up what you're reading. And then a little like devotional as well. And so this comes every day. I'm catching up. Today is Tuesday and I have to read Friday, Monday, and today. And so we're finishing up Philippians and then moving into Colossians. And we did... What do we do? We did Galatians. I started in this reading plan in Galatians, but it goes all the time. It's Monday through Saturday or Monday through Friday. Saturday is like a grace day and then Sunday is a scripture memory day. So you guys should check it out if you're, if you're looking for something to help you with your Bible reading. Um, all right, I'm going to get back to my reading. Jimmy's getting ready to go to work and he came over all excited. Come closer. Look at my, my pie little, clip. My little math genius. My friend got this for me. For your birthday? For my birthday, and this is the first time I've uh, worn it, because I haven't worn a tie since. Are you super excited to go to New York with that? Yeah, I have some meetings and stuff all day today, so I'm going to be like interacting with people. And my pie clip will be super obvious. I'm sure it's going to be a conversation piece. And you're just so excited <laughs> to talk about how much you love math. <laughs> yeah. Do I look like a professor, like a young professor? No. <laughs> I think you look handsome. Thank you. Do I look like maybe, like maybe I, um, I'm here in San Diego, but I also work at CERN? Yeah. I don't know what CERN is, but <laughs> I think you might look like you're the director of Mensa. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Are you going yeah. to finish the <laughs> It's Thursday. Chloe's doing homeschool at the counter. And tonight we have Bible study here and it's always chaotic trying to get ready. So I'm trying out this new crock pot lentil soup recipe that's so easy. I'll leave a link for it down below, but I have two cups of red lentils, this vegetable broth, this can of tomato paste, the diced tomatoes. These are all the spices with some garlic. It called for onions, but I like leeks better just because they're healthier and the taste better to me. So. Um, I thought I would show you really quickly how to cut a leek because I had to look it up the first time I ever cooked with leeks. So, so what you do with your leek is you cut your leafy greens off and then you make these slices down the sides, not all the way through, but as much as possible. That way you can open it up and really rinse out all of the stuff inside. And then you just cut all the way down the leek and it makes them into these little perfect pieces to go into your soups or stews or whatever else you're cooking with. You guys should do a Google search and read up on leeks because 
There are so many health benefits to them and they actually taste really good. I'm not a big fan of onions and so leeks are always my replacement for those and these just taste good to me. So check them out. Seriously, for someone who does not like to cook, who hates cooking is actually a better way to say it, this was the easiest thing ever to make. So I'll let you guys know tonight if it actually tastes as good as it smells, but it smells so yummy and lentils and tomatoes and carrots and leeks, so many healthy things in there. I'm excited. Okay, this soup or stew or whatever you want to call it is probably the yummiest vegan thing I've ever eaten. I want to eat it so slow and then I want to go get another bowl. And it's so filling too. You guys have to try this soup. Guinea pig feeding time. Look at what Lola does every time. <laughs> you silly little guinea pig. Oh, look at you. Oh, hello. Lola. <laughs> Lola, you silly little piggy. You silly little piggy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. I should just feed you. I should just feed you, but you're so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi there, Callie. So every day on my Snapchat, I show what workouts I'm doing, and I thought I would just show today's Friday, and I'll show you what I did for today. So I did my Tracy Anderson metamorphosis, and then I followed up with the 17-minute fitness blender at home cardio workout, and then I did this 17-minute feel the flow yoga by Banana Blondie, and I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm going to call it a day. What are you working on? Whoa. My favorite part is the fire. That's super cool, Chloe. And you drew that all by yourself? You're such a good artist. I like your shirt. Make today awesome. I've been working on it for days. For days? How many more days is it going to take you to finish it? I don't know. Days? More? I think so. You are seven years old. I've been working on it for almost a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, I can't wait to see it when you're all done. I'm gonna keep working on it. Okay, I'm gonna go clean up my room. If my queen's here and it's your turn, there's two ways to kill me. How do you, how, what ways? No, remember pawns can't kill straight on. Okay, Taylor just spent the last few minutes teaching Chloe. All right, first of all, first of all, I want to teach one more thing. All the rules of chess. It's so, her first chess game let's say, ever. Let's say this is gone. Can you kill me? Can you kill my king? Look, look at your prayers. Can you kill my king? What ways can you kill my king? Well, no. What, what can bishops do? Go to, only go diagonal. So how can you kill me right now? How can you kill me and win? Okay, so are you ready to play? Yeah. All right, we forgot to do church chat last weekend, and it's time to put up the fam cam, so go for it. Okay, so typically we do church chat right after church, and it's all fresh in my mind, and it's not right now. So I'm going to do my best to kind of recap, but I believe it was John chapter 8 verses 12 through 20 or 21 or something like that. And the main idea of the sermon was that, um, well, I don't know if this is like the, the title or, or what, but the idea was that um, the light shines in a dark world and... Um, it's not that people need more light, they need new eyes. And um, it, Jesus was speaking and uh, Pharisees were questioning him and um, you know, he's talking about himself and they said, well, you bear witness about yourself, um, you know, so you're lying basically. Because they had a rule that you had to have um, two or more witnesses for something to be true. So Jesus responded. He said, I bear witness about myself and my father bears witness about me. You know, to give them their two witnesses. But there's a, there's a, lot, there's a lot of good stuff in there. And, um, so the takeaway thing would be don't ask. Don't ask for more light. 
ask for new eyes. I think that's that's the gist of it. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Okay, you want to wrap it up? I'm wrapping up for the week? Yeah, we're done. Oh, okay. Thank you guys all for uh, watching for another week. I see you smirking and Taylor <laughs> smirking like... Like the way I do it every week is is lame or something. You just I never remind remember... people to subscribe. Okay, so subscribe. And give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Okay. Tune in next week. Okay. Thank you for watching. We have more ideas coming, right? Yeah. Um, mostly me. I mean, you. I'm not going to be doing makeup stuff or Use anything like that. Use the brains behind the operation. Cute face. I don't really do anything though. It's all of you. <laughs> yeah. I should Actually, I should I be helping. I, I should You're, be helping more. You are just gonna start helping me more with the business side of it. Yeah. Business. So that I can just be creative and you can take care of all the other stuff. Yeah. It'll be a family business. We're in okay. the business of helping people. All right, babe. Love ya. Right. Love you too. Today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul and a BeautyCon BFF unboxing. So I'm kind of mixing the two together.